a six times NBA All-Star and more autographs through the mail coming up. Hello again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Troy Rudder, AKA TTM Troy, and I am glad to be back on the air with you today. It is July 5th, 2020, and I took a little bit of a break doing TTMs, um, both uh, at, well, let's just say this, okay? As Zombie Collector loves me saying, we'll talk about that at the end of the video because I know I know you want to know what's been going on, but I have some TTMs for you today, including some that were sent. Uh, actually, most of these have been sent uh, either earlier this year or even last year, but I wanted to get these out to you because, like I said, it has been a while, and I appreciate you being here. So here is the first autograph. Here it is right now. And boom. All right, first we have Caleb Joseph. He signed two of two in 348 days. Now, this one actually took a year to come back. Uh, I sent this on March 1st, 2019 and received it on February 12th of 2020. Now, this was uh, actually both of these were sent to the Diamondbacks spring training last year, but he's now on the Blue Jays. So there you go. And, and uh, just a quick note. A lot of these that um, I'm doing right now are right before or during spring training 2020. And as everybody knows, uh, I think by now that the season is shortened to 60 games. So I do not, uh, I didn't have a chance to go through and see who is actually on the roster and see if they are playing this year because uh, a lot of players have been uh, dropping out. Uh, and, and saying they're just not going to play this year. So I have not, I don't know if he's on the active Blue Jay roster. So um, that's why I am not giving you that address right now. But let's go back. Let's show you the second card that I got here. There it is. Now, his major league debut was on May 7th, 2014 for the Orioles. And that's where he played until 2018. And that's when he went to the Diamondbacks. Like I said, now he is in the Blue Jays minors. So. Um, not sure <laughs> if he's playing this year or not. Uh, he currently has a batting average of .223 with 31 home runs and 125 RBIs. Caleb Joseph. All right, next we have Walter Davis. He signed two of two in uh, 101 days via his home in Colorado. This 1990 Fleer, he signed two of the same card, so... Thank you, Mr. Davis. Now, I sent these on March 1st, 2020 and received them on uh, June 10th, 2020. And you can see the address right there because these are publicly available addresses on any of the public address sites. Now, he played in the, the NBA from 1977 to 1992. And for, he played for the Suns, the Nuggets, the Trailblazers, and then yet again for the Nuggets. Now, Mr. Davis is a six times All Star, a two times All NBA second team member, and NBA Rookie of the Year. Now, to go along with all those great honors, his jersey, number six that you see on the card, is retired by the Phoenix Suns. And he also won a gold medal in the 76 Olympics. And during his career, he's, he scored 19,521 points. Walter Davis. Next, we have Dave Schmidt. He signed one of one in 624 days. These are those Fleer cards that I, I don't have a lot of, but it's always fun when they come back. <laughs> now, I sent this on August 13th of 2018 and received it on uh, April 28th of 2020. And uh, that is quite a long days, but Chase... Good old Chase got him in, I think, three days. So Chase must have the magic uh, magic touch there. <laughs> now you can see the address on your screen there. Now he played from 1981 to 1992 for the Rangers, the White Sox, the Orioles, the Expos, and the Mariners. And his Major League debut was on May 1st, 1981. And his final appearance was on May 26th, 1992. And he has been the pitching coordinator for the Orioles 
in uh, the last few years. Next, we have Eddie Olchek. He signed two of two in 306 days via the Blackhawks. I sent these on June 8th of 2019 and received them on April 9th of 2020. Again, there is the address there for the Blackhawks. Now, he played from 1984 to 2000 for the Blackhawks, the Maple Leafs, the Winnipeg Jets, the New York Rangers, where I believe he actually won a Stanley Cup, and the LA Kings and the Penguins. Now, he was drafted third overall in 1984 by the Blackhawks, and he has an uh, autobiography that he published last year, which details his fight with stage three colon cancer. So definitely a good return from Mr. Eddie Olchuk, and thank you for signing both of these cards. It is greatly appreciated. So anyway, guys, this is where I'm gonna tell you. Now, Zombie, Zombie Collector, gives me a hard time sometimes because a lot, <laughs> and, and he's right to do so because uh, I tell people, I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video, but then I never do. <laughs> and it drives him nuts, as well as it should. And he is the only one that has called me out on that, but uh, I, I realized that it really is the case. So I, I'm like, really? And then I was like, yeah, I do do, do that. I do, do 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 that, don't I? So anyway, what I wanted to tell you is I took a little break from doing videos uh, during the coronavirus. Now, um, it wasn't, uh, well, I guess it was for health reasons, but uh, the reason why, and you probably can't tell because this is video, and uh, video adds 10 pounds. <laughs> but um, since my last video, I have actually lost uh, about 52 pounds uh, just eating right, exercising, and uh, exercising, and uh, exercising. <laughs> and so during this whole coronavirus, I really haven't sent that much out. My Star Tiger scents are way down. Like I, I sent, um, for what I've sent in the year this year, I think I, I've sent in one February. <laughs> of uh, the previous like three or four years. But that is what, I, that is what I've been doing and I, I've kind of taken a break and I lost 52 pounds. I don't know if you can believe that. Now I still have a ways to go. So I'm gonna be shrinking even more into my, into my frame here, I guess. But hey, it's a start and you know, it's, it was just something that I wanted to just focus on, uh, focus on work because I'm working from home right now and focus on eating right and exercising and just taking care of myself. And that is what I have been doing. Uh, and during this time, I have been on the Autographers Anonymous podcast. If you watch them, you can find a link to the Autographers Anonymous podcast down below. It's a, it's a YouTube show and a podcast where we talk about autographs, obviously. <laughs> and I've been doing that and I've been doing uh, some other podcasts and, and this, that, and the other. But hey, I am doing at least a few videos right now and I am glad that you're still with me and thank you for all the, the well wishes from people saying, hey, are you still out there? Yes, I am still out there and I'm still here and hopefully you are too. Cause you know, uh, I was setting up the office again for filming and I was like, you know, this feels good. You know, at, at first I was like, oh, I have to bring everything back out. Cause I actually took, took the backdrop down and put all the lights in, in my closet and everything, and I had to set everything up, and as soon as I got everything up today, I was like, wow, this, this just feels right. So, very glad you're still here. Thank you to everybody who still supports the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, I do have an announcement. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, reducing the price a little bit on my Autograph Collecting Secrets book on Amazon, so you wanna check that out. And then I'm also going to put some autographed copies up on eBay. So if you don't have a copy of Autograph Collecting Secrets written by me, uh, go ahead and click the links down below and you can find that. There's even an audiobook, believe it or not, if you want to hear me talk even more. So there you go, Zombie Collector. I followed through on my promise to do something after the video. And again, I'm really glad you're here. So. Uh, in this crazy time that we're all living in, I really hope that your mailboxes are full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.